Welcome to my reaction to episode 135 of Gintama. We finished up the ghost arc, so I don't know what's next. There's a gorilla staring me in the face, so I guess it's a Kondo episode. Let's uh, get into it. In three, two, one, play. Hi. Yeah, back uh, back in Sorachi's office. What What's up? Okay. I... All right, sure. Why not? Yes. So, anyway, if you enjoy these videos, subscribe to the channel. Gintama comes out every Tuesday and Thursday. Or, if you want to see them early, before they go up on YouTube, you can check out the Patreon, because that's a thing over there. And you can also see other videos that I make on my second channel, if you want more stuff from me. So, thank you. I appreciate it. If you check that stuff out, it's linked down below. I have no idea what's happening next. Could be anything. I'm not sure, but when she hits Kondo right there, is she hitting him with her butt? Because it really looks like she is. Maybe. In which case, he's probably fine with it. All right, we are at Shueisha. We're doing some meta stuff again. What is he, including a lot of fan service or something instead of improving his writing? Whoa. Nice, nice. Yeah, all, all those, all those things. Ah, uh, again! Didn't we do this already? Didn't we already establish that he had a big pecker? Or is that a... Okay. All right. So we gotta we gotta improve uh, Gintaman so this guy can keep his job and stop the sexual harassment. Pie shield. Cool. Cool. Oh my God, Murara. What if Eye Shield Twenty One was just about girls? And instead of wearing uniforms that covered and protected them, they just wore uniforms that just had their tits hanging out the whole time. I would read it. They could use their breasts as attacking devices like Keijo. Or padding to protect from tackles. So yeah, we're just doing this again. This whole thing where Gin Gintoki gets to give his input into Gintama. I mean, last time he just copied Dragon Ball, so uh, the hell's gonna happen this time. I guess that was a different guy last time. I don't remember because it was a while ago. So I guess this is a different guy who also has a big penis. Because the other guy had one too. I guess that was the other guy. But, eh. So there's a new editor. And Gintoki's got to help him. 
Before worrying about the Earth, think about the even more endangered future of Gintaman! You're right. Who cares about the planet and preserving our environment for future generations of humans? That's dumb. We have to make sure Gintama doesn't get cancelled. It already ended, but, you know, that's not the point. Oh yeah, busy all the time. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, what are you doing when you're not reviewing the new chapter? You don't write it, you just have to read it. Dating parties. Oh no, how sad. Why are you not wearing... What? Why? Why, sir? He really is tiny. God damn. I wonder if it actually was when this came out. If it really was, and so <laughs> don't let any opportunity go to waste. My manga's losing popularity. I'll just write a chapter about how that's happening. That did happen. Dragon bows! Reborn. Turned into one after quite a while. Now he's got a boner! Why? Why is that happening? The fuck is Asako Marudashi? Okay, bye. I don't know if we need you. I don't know if we need your balls around here. The what? Okay, that guy's gone. Cool. We gotta have the fan service. Gotta have it in there all the time. Increase the nudity. Nobody has any- nobody has anything. Do we make it more serious? Do we make it more comedic? I see. No, I don't think those are issues. Hey, there you go. That's right. That is correct. Whoa! Yeah, that's what we need. That's the kind of shit that we need. A monkey woman. Oh. No. Did they get that? They understood that? Well, that's good. At least the editors are on the same page, at least, as the, the author. And yeah, giant boobs. Obviously. What else do you need? You have the giant boobs. You get a 10 out of 10.
Oh, yeah. That's like a Kanbaru. I'll take it. And that guy is back with his fucking boner. Just draw the lady with the giant boobs. What if, like, what if they draw her, or they draw something, into Gintaman, and then she appears in the show, in Gintama? That'd be cool. Here she is. Childhood friend right next door, across the window. Classic. Yeah, but that'd be awesome if he drew it into the manuscript, and then she also shows up in the show. Are her boobs giant? They're not small, but they're, are they giant? Oh, well, I mean, actually, you know what? Sure. He's a little kid. It's weird. Then Gorilla Sorachi realizes he has the power to control reality, and anything he draws into Gintaman will appear in the world, and he just... Decides to rule everything. This window is for you. How beautiful. And now this is happening. Little little teenage Gintoki. Oh god, the art style. It looks just as generic as this anime probably would actually be. It's probably going to have all the typical... Fan service situations that you always get up to. Fucking shoot! What? Oh. It, it, from where? From when the shot happened, it didn't look like that would be a three-pointer, but I guess it was. So that was your idea? You're just going to write that into the middle of the story? You can make that one of Katsura's stories. It seemed like it. What? No. Twins! Yes. Yeah, but we, uh, I don't... Uh, yeah. Just increase the number of boobs. The more, the merrier, I guess. Why? He's got a dentist fetish? He's just gonna say yes to everything. This is a lot. There's a lot to this character, if, if this is all one character. I think he just wants to draw the childhood friend. That's what's in his heart. I mean, yeah, you can make whatever alien you want. You can even have the big titty childhood friend basketball star be an alien. And she can be a dentist. Oh my god.
Why does he have, like, Kamina glasses? That's all he says. He's just a catchphrase spewing machine. Oh, look at him. Look, he's so cute. Ah, the childhood friend. There she is. The Osunana Jimi. Well, they I guess they warned you. Oh, should we we're actually doing the dentist thing. Yeah, the, his childhood friend is going to be a dentist. What if Shinpachi just said one word all the time? That was all he could say. It's like fucking Dexter saying omelette du fromage. She's your hot childhood friend, so you like her, but she's a dentist, so you kind of hate her. Because nobody likes the dentist. Oh, and she, she wants to be a bride. And she's got the fucking boob window and I like all the, the headphones and gloves and the liquor. Like, it's everything that they said. <laughs> Isn't she a bus driver, too? Who would that be? She's got like a big ass sword thing. You can't leave. We just found each other. There we go. Gotta rush to the train station to stop her. This is good. This is rom-com gold. The masses will eat it up. You'll be at the top of the rankings in no time. That's what he meant. I was like, what do you mean? A hand warmer on her chest? Just like, she keeps it in there. Okay, that's cool. Convenient. You got a little storage pocket in there. Don't let her go! No, it's gonna be a sad ending! That'll get the ratings even higher! That'll tug on people's heartstrings. Yeah, that's how you do it. Why is the phone ringing? And he, she gives him, she gives him her scarf, and they have to say goodbye. Bring in the. Oh, he got pulled in. I'm so invested in the romance plot. What's gonna happen? <gasps> My fiance. Oh, a twin sister. Oh, shit. That's what it's all about. Uh-huh. 
No! A kid? That's a deal breaker. <laughs> but only for one of them. Oh my god. This took a couple turns. Can we go there? Is that where we're going? Sounds good. I mean, if you want to make a successful jump manga, oh my god, 48 sisters, maybe you should just set it on the planet of giant boobs. Right? They can go to war with the planet of flat chests. Fascinating. That'd be a huge, uh, it'd be a huge battle. I was gonna say either Planet of Flat Chess or Planet of Giant Butts. And I was leaning toward that one just because it would give you a weapon. Again, like Keijo. Alright. Th now this is happening. Okay, uh, this took a turn. I don't know if the crowd who liked it for its romance is gonna transition well into liking the sci-fi action. I feel like you're trying to appeal to too many different audiences and uh, alienating too many people. That's my advice. I appreciate the shift in tone and genre and the unpredictability. She's not even flat. They're smaller, but she, they're there. And I appreciated the jiggle and I appreciate the mech suits. But yeah, this is, uh, this is unique. I'll give you that. I don't know how it'll do your ratings. Oh, oh my god. A boob button. Ah. Is he still on the train? Is he okay? Oh, okay. I guess I all right, sure. Who won? Did they all die? Did they just annihilate each other? Maybe they'll fuse and form a peaceful race of medium boob women. Wow, that was something, huh? Did you like it? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that, that's it. We don't know if it did well in the ratings or anything. Just the whole response is just, whatever. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. That's a bizarre, very Gintama episode, so that was pretty fun. Whatever. The planet of giant boobs. You could just have that be a race of Amanto, and there's your excuse. You can have all the fan service you want because that's just their race. They have giant boobs, and on their planet, they it's just custom to expose them all the time. And that's just their race. What are they going to do about it? Can't fault you as an author for that. You can write whatever you want. Donda que? It's the preview, but nothing is happening. Um, okay. <laughs> the preview, uh, just... Okay, well, I have been completely unspoiled. The preview showed nothing. That's interesting. So, thank you for watching. Leave your thoughts on that episode down in the comments. Check out the stuff linked in the description. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.